Hello and welcome back. What do you think is the most important part of your talk? The beginning, the middle or the end? Well, you can imagine uh, from the title of this talk that I think the beginning of the talk is very important. The first minute or two minutes is vital to connect with your audience and to make them want to listen to you for the rest of the talk. Uh, so if you can have a good beginning, then uh, the rest of the talk will be successful. So in today's lesson, we're going to show you three ways to start your talk. First of all, grabbing the audience's attention. Secondly, introducing yourself. And thirdly, giving an outline and showing the benefits of listening to your talk. So let's get to it. Firstly, we want to grab the audience's attention. There are lots of different ways to do that, and I'll just share three of them today. Uh, firstly, you can ask a question, uh, which is what I did at the beginning of this lesson. I said, uh, what do you think is the most important, the beginning, the middle or the end? And then try to pause for a couple of seconds and give the audience some time to think. And then you can answer that question and then you've got their attention. Uh, a second way to, to get their attention is to give them uh, some kind of image or, or even a map, for example to give them something to think about uh, or puzzle them in some way. And the third way is to give them an interesting uh, bit of data or a, a fact or a bit of information. Uh, these are sometimes called factoids. Again, to try to um, push them to think a little bit about, about the topic that you're going to talk about and get their attention. Hi, I'd like to give you two examples of the beginning of a talk. Uh, the first one, uh, is a standard one, and the second one I hope has a few more attention-grabbing techniques in it. Okay, here's number one. Hello, uh, my name is Neil, and as you can see from my slide, I'm going to talk about motivation. I'm going to give you seven tips on how to stay motivated. Okay, that's the, the first one. Let's try a little bit more of an attention-grabbing one. Hello, uh, please look at the slide, and can any of you guess who this person is. Okay, his name is Pareto. Ah, I see some of you uh, have heard of Pareto before, and you may have heard of the Pareto Principle, and this is the 80-20 law. And he came up with this law uh, when he was uh, working in Italy, and he observed that about 80% of the land was owned by 20% of the people. So we can use this principle to uh, help be more motivated. So, hands up, how many of you have actually given up something that you started, perhaps at New Year, when you were doing a bit of jogging, or you stopped eating chocolate, uh, and then after a few days, you gave up? How many of you? Come on, be honest. Okay, most of you, I can see that. Right, well, today I'm gonna use the Pareto Principle to try and teach you uh, five different ways to stay motivated and you won't give up this time, I promise. Okay, let's get to it. So in the second version, um, I used three techniques. Uh, I gave an image of Pareto. I had a factoid about 80-20 and I asked some questions of the audience. And those principles are a little bit more attention grabbing than just stating your name and the title of your talk. So. Why don't you experiment with your own uh, ways to grab attention and see if you can come up with some good techniques as well. Once you've got the audience's attention, a second thing that you can do is to try to introduce yourself in a way which will create a rapport between you and the audience. It also shows that you're a credible person, that you have um, the knowledge or experience uh, that you know what you're talking about and the audience will benefit from listening to you. Uh, so just briefly say what your experience is, perhaps the qualifications you have. Uh, some useful language might be, you know, I'm a, uh, I have a PhD in education or uh, I have a master's uh, in social psychology or I've uh, spent 25 years working in the field in Africa. Uh, or I have a, a special interest in, in this area and have been doing research about it for a long time. Something to show your experience and qualifications. 
It's also important when you're introducing yourself uh, to try and start developing rapport with the audience to show that you're enjoying the talk and that you really want to share the time that you're, you're spending with them, uh, that you're a friendly uh, and a passionate person about, the, about what you're talking about. And you can start that process by sharing a little bit about uh, who you are, uh, where you come from, or perhaps wh why you're interested in this particular topic. For example, I mentioned motivation earlier, and you might, I might uh, want to say, well, I, I got interested in, in the subject of motivation because I really wanted my daughter to swim. Um, and I took her to a lot of swimming lessons, but she just didn't, she wasn't interested. So um, I want to share with you today what, what I did to encourage my daughter to, to learn to swim. And she's become an extremely good competitive swimmer nowadays. So that, that kind of um, short story is often a nice way to connect with the audience and start creating rapport. Okay, so you've grabbed the audience's attention beautifully. Uh, you've uh, established your credibility, you've shown you're friendly and you've got a nice rapport going. What do you do next at the beginning? Well, I recommend that you have an outline, um, a kind of brief list of the topics that you're going to cover. Some of the language that you might use when you introduce this outline is uh, as follows. I'd like to show you these are the topics that I'm going to cover today. Or these are the themes I'll present today. As you can see, my uh, talk is divided into four parts. So th those are some typical phrases you might use to introduce your outline. In addition to that, it's really helpful if you tell your audience straight away what are the benefits of listening to your talk. That will really encourage them to engage with you. So again, here's some language you might use to do that. Uh, at the end of my talk, you will know three ways to keep motivated. I will show you today how to better resolve conflict. My research results will show two main methods to decrease pain. So give an outline and show the benefits of your talk to the listeners. Okay, just to go over the main points of today's talk, uh, I think the beginning of a talk is vital to create a, a link between you and the audience and to make the audience want to listen to you. And doing that in the first minute is incredibly important. There are three main parts to doing that. One is to grab the audience's attention in some way. Uh, secondly, you might want to create a link with them by introducing yourself, uh, showing that you're credible and a friendly person. And finally, you want to give them an outline, which includes the benefits uh, of the talk that you're going to give. So if you can do all that, then your talk will be successful. But of course, you have to practice, practice and practice.